<laughs> Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to... Improv Story Time with Cameron! <laughs> Alright, welcome to... Improv Story Time with Cameron. Where I tell a story making every single little thing up off the top of my head as I go. Now, this improv story time with Cameron is going to be a little different because in this improv story time with Cameron, we're going to use a little detail, one little detail that's not off the top of my head. And that is we are making... I was in the middle of a moment! I gotta get this, excuse me for a second. Yes, I want a large Finn Crest birth certificate, please, because I lost my old one in the fire. Yeah, does insurance cover that? Okay. Okay. Oh, and tell Amy, tell Amelia I said hi. Yeah, Amelia Pond, yeah, tell her I said hi. I gotta go. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. We're doing something a bit different for this improv story time with Cameron. And that's that we are making a sequel to... Libby Little Ice Cream Cone! That's right, we're bringing back Lenny the Ice Cream Cone back. Wait a minute. Poor grammar. So, alright, give me one minute to think. This shouldn't take too long, though, because I shouldn't have that much to cover up. So, once upon a time in the land of the United States of America, New York City, Lenny the Ice Cream Cone and his new nephew, Barrick Stoma, who happens to be a Rocky Road Ice Cream Cone, were going on a little vacation to New York City, obviously. Now, their means of getting there were jet ski. Now, during the time period in Ice Cream Landia, since the first Lenny the Little Ice Cream Cone, Lenny got wonderfully married to you know who, and had two kids, two, two kids, and everything in Ice Cream Landia was swell and peaceful, and Lenny was the new elected vice president. Yeah, vice president. Anyway, him and his nephew decided to take the weekend off to go on vacation to Albany. However, Albany can be a dangerous place for an ice cream cone, especially one such as Lenny's stature. Not really, because he's small. And so Lenny and Barrick were jet skiing on their way to Albany when suddenly a shark came up to attack them. They maneuvered the jet skis out of the way of a shark, and the shark totally missed and then got caught by shark hunters. However, the shark hunters that caught the shark were very, very hungry and hadn't eaten for weeks. And when they saw Lenny and Barrick on their little jet skis, one of the fishermen said, Three go in the water, shark in the water. Two come out of the water, two get ice cream cones to eat. Have you ever seen a shark's eyes, chief? They look just like shark size, chief. And then the other one said, Hmm, I see your point, Quentin. Perhaps we should take in these ice cream cones after all. Now the two fishermen's names were Quentin, the crazy pants, and... Jerry, the former waffle salesman. So then Quentin and Jerry decided to abandon this new shark they found and chase after Lenny and Barrick while they were on their jet skis. Oh no! There's some people coming to eat us! Ah! Barrick said, and then Lenny replied, Don't worry, Barrick. We're going to be perfectly safe. All we got to do is get to the dock and everything will be just fine. 
Well, Lenny and Barrack raced and raced and raced and raced and they got to the dock and then they both got eaten by a traveling salesman. Then, the shark hunters both came, Jerry and Quentin, they both crashed into the dock, jumped out of their newly destroyed ship, and ran to the traveling salesman who ate Lenny and Barrack, and then they started punching him in the stomach and heimlicking him until he had no choice but to spit up Lenny and Barrack. Barrack cried. Come on, let's go. We need to get out of here. Lenny said. So Lenny and Barrack started running and running and running until finally they got to the Big Apple Park where they were nice and safe and sound. In the meantime, though, Jerry and Quentin were still looking for them. However, very, very met a special New York style waffle cone. Yeah, waffle cone, ice cream cone named Snooly Dooly Doo. Now, Snooly Dooly Doo solves the Hey, are you two looking for a way out of here? Because I hear the shark hunters looking for you. Lenny and Barrack both nodded their heads, like ice cream cones do. And Schnooly Booly Boo said, All right, I know a nice little place we could go hang out. It's called the Dairy Queen. Now, it's where we keep all of our special little ice cream cones. Well, Snooly Booly Boo right, lied to them, and Dairy Queen turned out to be a prison where everyone was sentenced to execution. Lenny and Barrack were on the market for trespassing, when suddenly the Ice Cream Landia army came and broke into Dairy Queen, freed all the ice cream cones, and all the ice cream cones happily went back to Ice Cream Landia. Meanwhile, everyone in New York began starving because they wanted ice cream cones. Well, Lenny felt bad for them and came up with an idea. He thought that it would be a good idea to come up with a special creation, something people could eat with the same vicinity as snow cones. So, after lots and lots of thinking, Barrack, instead of Lenny, came up with the idea. He took a bunch of ice cubes and crushed them with his special waffle cone into a million tiny pieces and put them all in a little cone and sprayed all kinds of special sauce on them. Lenny thought it would be a good idea to call them snow cones. So they anonymously presented it to the board council of New York City. And New York accepted and thusly the snow cone was invented. Lenny and Barrack had a wonderful vacation. However, Quentin and Jerry were still hungry. But one day they came across Snooly Booly Boo. Just walking through the street and they picked him up and they ate him. The end. This has been...